Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. As the recording of this, it is Sunday, October 8th, 2023. I am wearing an appropriate t-shirt that I purchased yesterday at Spookala. Little Monster Squad, the Halloween season is upon us. I have returned to Central Florida most of September. I was out in SoCal doing their Halloween haunt season and now it is Florida's time tonight. I have a ticket, I will be attending SeaWorld Hallow Stream. I went last year, it was a lot of fun. I said, heck it, let's see what 2023's event has to bestow upon myself. And I'm inviting you to join me. This is a very bright and colorful shirt. The monsters will definitely see me and have their eyes, their ghoulish eyes pinpointed upon myself. Join me, shall you? Coffee spot was busy today. Took me a little while to get this piping hot caffeinated beverage to give it a little more kick. I went with a pumpkin spice latte right here. The jet lag has been real the last couple of days. Not really knowing, my body doesn't really understand what time it is. I mean, I can look at a clock and tell what time it is. 6.30 are the gates tonight for Hallow Scream. 7 p.m. the event kicks off. But my body doesn't know if I'm in Hawaii, which is six hours behind the time frame here, or if I'm in SoCal, which is three hours behind where I am right now. So my body's a little confused. You know, the inner workings, internal alarm is a little bit off. So some caffeine later in the day. So it's a good thing. Cheers. I feel like I picked a pretty good time to be gone during the summer. Now I'm getting back and it's cooling down a little bit. And I'm not complaining about these Halloween time events because they are a little later in the day and at night. So it's not as hot. Kind of works out perfectly. Feels good out. Yeah, one thing that was kind of nice is parking was included with the ticket. I was kind of expecting I have to pay $30. I don't have an annual pass here. And they just said, you go into Alice Cream? I said, yeah. They're like, go ahead and park over there. Heading in, kind of wedged between the, the facilities over here and the House of Horrors. It's almost like a little secret passageway to get it. Almost looks like this line is going over to the bathroom. It's not. It's cutting into SeaWorld. So about a half hour waiting in this little courtyard area. The gates open at 6.30 and the event officially kicks off at 7. And this one, I guess you could clarify this as the opening ceremony. Stilt walkers, some sliders. So there's not a lot of room for the sliders. So the slide, because there's like a ton of people like walking on this little sidewalk. Down. Yes, following the beacon over here with the drop tower off on the side. And we're heading in. Tower of Scream 2023 SeaWorld Edition. You know, I don't think it's supposed to be going in here. This says that this, this doesn't have an exit, but I guess everyone's just kind of fo just following the crowd through here. And I should probably take this opportunity to say there's going to be lots of strobe lights, a lot of scary images, a lot of jump scares, things like that. But most importantly, strobe light warning, strobe lights galore in here. So if you're sensitive to, to that type of stuff, just be weary or be wary that there's going to be a lot of strobe lights. Again, strobe light overload is about to happen. Strobe lights. Oh, he's got uh, some guys with some shovels over here. Look at this guy right here just kind of hanging around. Look, he's like hanging right there. He's like dangling from the top. He's like frozen. Oh, wow, there's someone at that desk right there. I didn't think there was going to be someone at that desk. Oh my lord. Ooh, I thought that was almost like a a goofy scream. Where am I going? I don't know if I'm going the right way. All right.
that's right. That's some strokes. Oh, wow. Hello. Is that it? I can't tell if that's it or not. Is that all of it? All right, let's turn this corner. Oh, it's not hot. Good first house. Good first house of the of the evening. Also, my friend Chelsea's here. How what? Did you like it? Uh, well, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good start off, though. There wasn't a lot of scare actors in there, though. Oh, that's cool. I didn't recognize how you doing? I got some of the little necklaces here. These could either be teeth or they could be like candy corn, purple candy corn. Not really sure. This is kind of neat. They seem like they have more merchandise here than they do in the one in the front. This, oh, you know what? That actually says, okay, this is inaugural year. This is probably last year's merchandise. So this, this is not the inaugural year. I think last year was the first year they did. Maybe this is leftover from last year. It does have specific This was pretty good too. But that's small. This has, well, you know what? That doesn't show, I don't know. It doesn't say Orlando on that one though. So maybe that's just one for all the different ones. Psycho chick. And I gotta say the method of going to the second house first really worked out because there was no line where we probably would have waited about a half hour in the other line. So it kind of worked out. They also have something that says, do not, don't want to be scared. There is a no boo necklace. Let the monsters know not to scare you. I wonder if that works in the, in the houses and in the mazes themselves. But look how cute this is. It's like a little, little spider. The sheet list. <laughs> Too old for this sheet. You gonna ride that home? Yeah. <laughs> a witch's broom? Actually, I don't know what it is technically. I think it's a lamp or something. It's a what? I think it's a lamp. Because it has oh, maybe. something down here. Which way to the canyon? Oh, which way to candy? I don't know why the canyon. This is really <laughs> terrifying. It's just like it's like a cocoon with a skull in it there. The sky looks really, really cool over there where the sun is setting. We're just gonna continue on. We're gonna hit the first maze in last on the way out. I'm also hearing an alarm going off. And look at the lagoon over there. From Jaws 3, that's where the, the dolphins were at the end of Jaws 3. Right over there as well. We're walking past Icebreaker. And here's a, a hooded sweatshirt here. Oh, here's all the different ones. Okay, this says SeaWorld Orlando on it. And here's the five mazes. Beneath the Ice, Dead Vines, Delirium 666, Captain's Revenge, and Blood Reckoning. Which we'll get to as the night progresses. Alright, we're going through an area that's like a toxic... Ooh, uh, it was like a scare actor going like, jump out. Ooh, this guy's right here, it's like a construction worker coming through. Or that, I could tell if that was like a scare actor, if that was like a monster, or... What, oh, here's like a touch my plan. Oh, you you are spraying me with that. You really are spraying me with some stuff. Wow, that he was really spraying me with some bug that. My camera got soaking wet. I was not expecting that to be a real real bug spray on that. Even though I think it was just water. Like all over my camera and all over my face. I've been exterminated. Oh, hello. Did you touch anything in here? I did. I got sprayed down. They already they already sanitized me. And you're fine, and everything's fine. Okay, good. Good. Good thing I told her that. Probably wouldn't have ended well. I got water all over my camera. I got, I got uh, delousing stuff all over my camera. I can't escape this. They're coming for me. Hello. They're coming for all of us. Now for an additional $59, you can get front of the line, but I think because it's a Sunday, it shouldn't be too bad to go through Nolan's Nightmare. Do we get in this order? I don't think it'll be a problem. So the front of the line is called a fear pass. Your fear passes over here. This is the regular pass. 
So really the only line so far that I've seen is the line of the first one that everyone goes walking up to because it's just the first thing you see. It's kind of like when Epcot opens and everyone goes right to Spaceship Earth first thing. If you just go to the back and then end with Spaceship Earth, kind of the same kind of philosophy I'm going off of. All right, it was a little bit of a hike to get back to this particular maze, but there's only maybe two dozen people in front of me going in. Okay, I thought maybe this was gonna like jump out, but not almost like walking through like a planter area over there, like a greenhouse. Got some foliage. Oh, we are gonna, oh my Lord, there is. That was good. That was, you got me really good. Yep, that was uh. Yeah, I don't know what he just said, but was that the gardener? Yeah, he said you're going to be the first one missing. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, hello. He's full of vines. He had vines all over him. Oh, there's like a lot of bushmen in here. Oh, right there. Yeah, like the ambiance here, walking through the foliage. I hear something growling. Is that gonna be a big gator? Hi. Oh, that's not a gator. That's a. No. My dinner. Your dinner. That's a gator right here. Yes. Yes. Look at that. That is awesome. <laughs> oh, that's the best thing ever. I heard the growl. I just knew it was gonna be an alligator for some reason. You're next to be hex. I like that. Next to be hexed. <laughs> All right, I'm liking this one. Little <laughs> oh, plant. Oh, that's not a plant. Well, that's planted there, left there. All right, exiting out. Maze exit only. We walked out this way. I really like that one. Was actually really, really good. Scare actors were great and very plentiful in there as well. And then inside here, it's like there's another bar. There's a lot of, you know, a lot of bars and they're really pushing the drinks and stuff. Oh, there's like some of the dangles from the roof right there. Look at this. She's going up the side. She's climbing up the side of the, of the, she's going to go up here and do like an acrobatic performance here in the Poison Grotto. This is also SeaWorld Hallow Stream Orlando is voted the number one best theme park Halloween event in Florida. Take a look at that. Look at this, what's going on up here. And then there's even some like, up here in the Poison Grotto, there's some like, there's someone up there, like a murder woman of some sort. But yeah, out of all the haunts in Florida, this is number, I don't, I don't know where that came from, but it says this is number one haunt here in Florida. And you can wet your whistle in here while you have the merfolk all about Poison Merfolk, Poison Grotto Merfolk. that back room there into the past they must be past members they're going to the past member lounge they must be past members they're all going into the past member lounge i don't know what's going on in that past member lounge but i think it's something very voodoo -y, voodoo ish it's very dark out here rattling something here and that's oh How freaking cool does this look? This old shack over here on the bayou. Hidden in the shadows. Lots of fog. Someone holding a lantern over there. Not really sure exactly. The, probably should look at a map. I think we might be backtracking. Oh, this is Witchcraft Bayou. They're going past the pretzel kitchen over here, which is open for a little snack if you so choose. We're going to go back to Captain's Revenge off oh, in I the distance. We're going to do Elmo's house. Right? We're going to do Elmo's house? Yeah. I don't. I think Sesame Street Land is closed right now, but that would be pretty horrifying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine Big Bird comes out, a ghoulish Big Bird. <laughs> Just tickle me, Elmo. Except Elmo at this event doesn't tickle. <laughs> Look at this. Big skull. Look at this big skull right here. The blood eye, the blood red eyes. This one is called Drowned in Darkness. Captain's 
revenge. Now this line here is the fear pass. This is the regular line. So the lines are getting a little more intense. There's maybe a dozen people here in the regular line as well, but still you can see all the empty stanchions and queues. Because it is a Sunday, usually a Sunday is a little less busy than like a Saturday or a Friday night would be. I've learned that for some of these smaller hunts. Right there. Going the wrong way, they said. You never know who to trust in these things. Okay, now we're going through more foliage here. This is a good one. I like this one. Whoa! <laughs> I can't see without my glasses. Oh wow! Oh wow! It's like Mr. Smee meets. Yeah, I was trying to think Mr. Smee meets Thomas J. But I, I got too scared because he can't see without his glasses. Yeah, that was pretty good. I like that you come out of the pirate ship. Very aquatic and pirate theme. Okay, I think that's three mazes down, right? Three of the five. Yeah. Just like that. Knocking them out quick. Okay, I think maybe go back this direction through the scare zone we were just in and loop around and then kind of figure out what we haven't seen as far as the houses go. Oh, this is so cool. Buy you once again. This is a good scare zone right here. This is a good. Oh, there's another gator. There's another gator right here. There's a gator right here. Look at that, oh, is that a witch doctor? This gator is like, like smoking a stogie or something because there's like smoke coming out this Beware of alligator. There is a show starting right now. Monster Stop Slasher Alley is happening right now. exiting that, there's definitely a lot more people out here than there was before going in. It's filling up a little bit. Okay, into the scare zone that has all the aquatic creatures, sharks, eels, creatures of the underground, shadows of the sea. This is like underwater Atlantis here, right there, where we got, we got a merman there. 
like almost like King Triton of sorts. I'm not seeing any uh, any fish-like folk walking around though, however. The ambiance is certainly very thick through here, however. Definitely very thick. More fog than you can shake a stick at. Oh, there's like skulls right there. Look at this, like skulls and barnacles. Well, she's a tall one, isn't she? <laughs> Not by much, you're up here with me. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no sign of the shark head and octopus head folks. Or maybe they're just hiding in the shadows. I don't see them. Yeah, what the heck is this over here? I, what is my, that? That was my lunch. That was your lunch? All right. Yeah, that was my lunch. That yeah, was your lunch. It doesn't we, look... we keep the carcass for decoration. Okay. Oh, gotcha. Is there like little blood packs here? Yeah. And then what's in the syringes? They are tequila, lime, and vodka cherry. Jello. Jello shots. All right, I was just informed that this is a brand new house or brand new maze this year. It's called the uh, Bloodlight District. Kind of like a play on words or a Halloween version of the Red Light District. We're going to be going into this here in the Seaport Theater. It's called. Oh, hello there. Looking at, uh, yeah, they're scantily clad. And I'm getting some vampire themes because there are some. Yeah, look at this. Going super vampire themes over here in the. Oh, the Bloodlight District. Wow. Party through here as you're kind of walking through here. Party Central, baby. Party Central. I think. Oh wow. Okay. All right. That's an offer. It's probably a good thing we knocked out the first few that quickly though, because now this has a pretty good size line into the general queue. That sign Follow me. Follow, follow the call. Oh. Follow the call. I think it's follow the call. What have we not done? So we are at. Wow, where are we? I would say if I had gotten here right now, hadn't done the RD3, I'd probably go with the uh, front of the line. Doesn't really make a lot of sense to do it now with having just two mazes left up. So over here in the queue, there's a shopping cart. There's a tent right here. This is a bookstore. Rabbit Books. Right over there, there's a sign here. It's kind of hard to see what it says. Ah, okay. Leading Rabbit Books condemned. Should I get out of line? I wouldn't go in there. So, so when you go to the fork in the road, man, you want to go left. Okay, go left at the fork in the road. Go left. Okay. Don't go straight, man, because it's in there. Man. Gotcha. Go left. So I'm in line to buy concert tickets, is what you're saying. Yeah, man. Okay. All of us are in line. We're going there because you're all like tie dye. I got the tie dye Monster yeah. Squad shirt on. It's weird, you know. It's it's interesting. Everyone that's in this line. We all think that this place is condemned and we're going in here to get concert tickets. Something wrong with us. We have issues. Thanks for the heads up. All right, thank you. You all got a chance to run still. We have what? If you have a chance to run away, I'd recommend it. Chance to run away. Okay. Into the bookstore. Oh, wow. 
They're up top there. Top the top. I wasn't expecting to see some cold. Oh, it's cold in here. Cold inside here. Very chilly. Tents are rocking. Everything. Like a campground. wait so far. Probably not the, the best of the mazes we've been to. It was all right. I feel like I want to get like a food or a snack item. There's a place called Scratch's Kitchen, which is right over at the exit, where I just walk out of. But all they have here, as far as food goes, is a stitched up turkey leg for $15.99 and a blood bag. But those are the stitched up turkey legs right there. Carnival Pier, amazing funny park, but it says evil. Carn evil. I feel like the clowns, when it comes to haunts, is kind of something you're always gonna see. It's one of these funhouse style mirrors, making us look taller, like we need That's a great picture! Check me out on TikTok! <laughs> Carn evil. <laughs> Carn evil rolling through here. Got the, the fog and the haze out. Cast of characters, just like a carnival. Kinda makes sense. I don't, yeah, I'm good. I'll just keep passing through. Thank you. Hi! on the Monster Squad shirt tonight. <laughs> All right, into the last line, the last maze line of the evening. And you can see some spotlights happening over there. We're in, an, we're in an elevator right now. Oh, wow. Inside an elevator. 300 feet. 400 feet. Going down. Going down. Engaging emergency rooms. Elevator room. Cyrus have escaped. Oh wow, look at this. It's mermaid. Mermaid tail.
this is the siren show that's happening over here right now one of the other shows the second show there was the stock show and then there was the siren show look up here Definitely had a really good time. I feel like last year, I believe last year was the inaugural first year of Hallow Scream at SeaWorld. They, they've had it at Busch Gardens a number of years before that. I feel like last year I enjoyed it a little bit better. This year was good, but one of my favorite scare zones that had the, the aquatic theme, that area they didn't have the aquatic theme as, as last time this time it was filled with pirates that, that one i really i really kind of missed i will say the shows are amazing the stomp show was great and the siren show both incredible i think those would be my favorite things of all of them the houses were good scared of the zones were good but i think the shows were awesome heading home now back in celebration and going to my spot i'm gonna call it a night i appreciate you watching Another haunt, did some SoCal haunts for a while. Back in Florida now, and do a few here and there. Not as many here as there are in California, but do some Florida haunts the rest of this month. And other things too, other videos as well. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is 